Due to the popularity of my Labyrinth Plus videos, and by request of Mr. Froze, or Froz, however you pronounce your name, I decided to release the version of Microsoft Plus for Windows XP that I have on my hard drive. I told Mr. Froze that I'd look for it, and if I found it, I would make the video on how to use everything. Well, here's the ISO. I still have it, and apparently I got it from Demonoid, which doesn't exist anymore, apparently. Yes, it is a torrent, but mind you, you cannot get the software from Microsoft anymore. Microsoft does not officially sell it anymore. So I know what you're all here for, and the download link's in the description below. And, so as this is actually the end of the video, but I forgot to show you how to install the dang thing. You can install this in two ways. One, you can just burn the ISO to a CD if you plan to install it on multiple computers. Or, t or two, if you just want to install it on one computer, you can get... Win CD emulator and just double click on the ISO and it puts it in. You go to select, you want to have the auto run set up here and run setup.exe. You get this, you need administrative pr privileges, so make sure you have that and you press yes on the account control. It'll take a little bit, but it will eventually pop up. You just click on next. I've already installed it. You can, re after you already installed it, you can add or remove features, repair or remove. Here's all the things you can download, the digital media. I recommend excluding the MP3 audio converter because you don't really need that nowadays. The personal DJ, create custom playlists for Windows Media Player. Speaker enhancement, instantly boost the clarity and richness of many desktop computer speakers. Once again, you don't need that. And the voice command allows you to control Windows Media Player with simple voice commands. Who would want that? And plus, I don't think that would work very well. So why and why only media player? <laughs> and the plus CD label maker it creates custom CD labels, inserts, and booklets. So that might be useful if you burned your if you have a personal album, you burn it on a CD, you can use that to create the CD label. However, it's kind of old, so who knows what limitations it will have. But what you can't have is media player skins, you can choose which one to install. You can have the visualizations. Can't choose which one to install. It installs all of them, apparently. Games, Hyperpole Plus Edition, Labyrinth Plus Edition, and Russian Square Plus Edition. They all work. Screen savers. Plus Aquarium, Nature, Da Vinci, Space, Robot Circus, My Pictures, Sand Pendulum, Pendulum, and Mercury Pool. They all work. Themes. They all work. Uh, I'll show you how they all work. To find Labyrinth Plus Edition, you want to go to C, Broken Files x86, Microsoft Plus with an exclamation point, Games, Labyrinth Plus Edition, Labyrinth.exe. Right there, you just double click on that. You'll display that you'll get displayed the uh, gray square, but it works as you can see right here. You can go to options, display settings, put in your resolution. I think this is the highest it can go, to be honest. So, here's NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, six goodbye. That's like overkill for this game. You go to game settings to change the theme or the ball. I have them both set to random. You just go to practice makes perfect. And your screen will go black again. But as you can see, it does work right here bit low on the anti-alias sync. See, it is perfectly playable. That was a sucky round, but okay. I have no idea why it does this, but for some reason it no longer displays the menu. So I have to close out of here. So that's a slight problem. It didn't used to happen, but I have a feeling a Windows update in that, but it's fine. And I also provide a link to the, to the Labyrinth bonus here. But when you run it, you'll get this error. It's C users, your username, update a local temp, I, IXP 000.tmp, patch 03.bat. You want to go to that directory, so C users, your username, app data, it will be a hidden file, local temp. Look, here's a directory right there, see it? And here's the files. So why the heck is it displaying this? Okay, so I made this a bit more complicated than it needed to be. So, basically, once you get to this directory, keep the error up, otherwise the files disappear. 
and just run the msp file in the directory. The bat file does nothing. It literally does nothing. Just run the msp file which will only run if you have Microsoft Plus for Windows XP installed. If that doesn't work, then use 7-zip to extract it from the other exe file that displays the error when you run it. You'll get this on here. And notice how it says Microsoft Plus for Windows XP patch. You, just, you click update and you have the add-on pack installed for the Labyrinth Plus. Alright, that's everything with Labyrinth Plus related. Now I noticed when you were looking at this directory, you'll have something called screensavers. Now these are in a different format than the normal SCR format. However, they do still work. You can open up control panel, go to go to the search up here and search for screen. Why is change screensaver under power options? Anyway, go to change screensaver, you'll get this legacy component here. Legacy I mean old, and that's from Windows XP, believe it or not. And every you should have plus in here. So you can press plus aquarium. That works. I would press preview to make that bigger, but um, I'm not sure how well this will record. But uh, I can guarantee you that the sound works. You go to settings, the sound does work. The visit us online for more fish link does not work, however. You can go to display settings. Change it to your monitor's native, native resolution. Yada yada yada, you get the idea. However, certain screensavers like Da Vinci here. When you go to settings and display settings, it does not go ha it does not go up very far. <laughs> so just pick so just pick one your monitor you know your monitor is will support. So if it doesn't support 1600 by 1024, then you might as well have to go down to to uh, 1280 by 720 because I know that I know that's more universal. So that's how you get the screen savers here. You just select the one you want and just press apply. Okay, and there they go. See, look, that one plays. Now the next thing you guys probably will want is the backgrounds. The backgrounds are also here, except they don't show up in the theme settings in Windows 10. What you need to do is go to your go to your drive that Windows is installed, C drive. Go to Windows Web Wallpaper. And here are the plus wallpapers. You just right click, set as desktop background. And there you go. Now I'm pretty sure you've noticed my cursor as well. The format for the cursors hasn't really changed much. So to change your cursor, you want to go to the control panel, mouse, pointers, plus nature won't be in there. I made that so I can lower it any time. But notice how the uh, cursor's here. All you have to do is go to browse. And notice how the... They are in .cur and .ani files. ANI, ANI files are the animated ones and CUR are just the stationary ones. But if you scroll down, you will see plus and you can pick whatever cursor you want. What you would normally have is this right here. You normally have this. Basically, you, for normal select, you just browse and click on the one that matches that in the plus themes. So, for example, the aquarium right there that you just basically pick the one that looks the closest you don't have to do that but it's highly customizable like that all right so the next thing is the windows media player skins how do i open windows media player from here okay here's windows media player i have it i have it this is the 32-bit version there's also a 64-bit version which both of them should be installed by default, you should have the 64-bit version if you have 64-bit Windows, but I think these only work with this 32-bit version, but you can confirm that yourself if you want. To get to the skins, what you want to do is right-click down here in the library. Library. Go to View. Skin. And notice how it goes to the default skin that looks like the Windows XP Media Player. To change your skin, you go to View Skin Chooser. And here's all the here are the plus themes. You get a preview too. The plus aquarium, which is a treasure chest that looks pretty cool. Da Vinci, which looks pretty cool as well. Nature, you play music off a leaf. And space, it looks pretty cool too. And there's also a, a revert, which I have no idea what that is. 
But anyways, if you choose one, let's say let's say this one, you press apply skin, and you have this right here. If you want to make this bigger, you can press up here of the four buttons. Size 32 by 24 makes it slightly bigger. However, if you want to use it in full screen, you just click that button. Apparently that doesn't work. Now, since I have this open, you're probably looking for the audio visualizations for it that only work with Windows Media Player. <laughs> so, so hang on, let me go find some music. I'll play, play my uh, personal album. All right, I'm playing the music and notice how it, the visualization comes up. We go to visualizations plus, and you have an Odd World Munch's Odyssey visualization. <laughs> Where, where Munch here dances to your music. He also he also interacts with the music, but it's a bit weird. And uh, you have Max's Kingdom, which he basically has a seizure when you're listening to music. I think that's from the game as well. And you also have Undersea Wonders, which would go well with the aquarium theme. And that's how you use everything. And now, there are just two things left to show you. And these ones don't require that much effort to get working aside from the, apart from the last ones I've showed you. So, there's one feature that's always overlooked, and that is the recycle bin icon. You can change the recycle bin icon in the form of an ICO file or ICO. You go to settings, the Windows 10 settings, personalization, themes, and on the right here you'll have desktop icon settings. Clicking on that will open this window. It shows this PC, your username folder, network, recycle bin full, and recycle bin empty. You click on one, change icon, and you have all this to go through. You can change whatever icon you want. which. Which can result in some very funny outcomes. Now, I never did this before, but it looks like it's looking for DLL files. But I think you can go to Browse. Okay, yeah. It, it will look for ICO files. Go to C. Windows. Resources. Themes. And here's the plus themes. Plus aquarium. There's the recycle bin. Both empty and full for the aquarium theme. Da Vinci, nature, and space. Everyone, everyone, your recycle bin to be the moon. You just, you just select it and press open. I'm not gonna change it, and and these two should be changed. But you may need to have these. You may need to have recycle bin checked up here though, in order for that to work properly, or for it to actually change. And allow themes to change desktop icons. You want to have that checked too. I say change the recycle bin icon. Now, last but not least, and that is the the theme's sounds. Because every theme has a sound scheme. It's like before, you want to go to C, Windows, Media. And scroll down, and here are... They won't have plus in them, but they'll have under the theme's name, like Aquarium. Here's all the Aquarium sounds. They work. All of them here. Now to actually now to actually change them, actually work with system with the system sounds, you can go to you can right click on your speaker icon here and go to sounds, which will bring this window right here. You click on the sound you want, like this one, you can go to browse, go to browse, and then why is it here? <laughs> see, you can guide it to C. It should be in that directory default, but for some reason I have to change it. Go to C, Windows, Media, and, and then you select the sounds here. And they're marked what sound it was meant for, like asterisk, close, critical stop, etc. And that's basically it. That's everything that Microsoft Plus comes with, and that's how you use them.
So I hope you all are very happy now that you finally found a, a legitimate working copy of Windows XP. It turns out, this is the super pack that I have. So, like I said in the beginning, the download links are in the description below. I'm providing the add-on pack for the Lapins Plus as well down there. And, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya!